So what this circuit is, is an inverting integrator in series with an inverting amplifier. And they are in series, and so um, we can kind of multiply the transfer functions through. All right, so this is a higher order problem than just doing this circuits by itself, which you probably by now have memorized is just the resistance of this divided by the resistance of that times minus one. So this is practically by inspection. No, sure, it's an ideal op amp. That resistance allows the output voltage to be fed back in to that port to make that happen. Um, and, you know, this relationship here it's ideal, there's feedback, these two voltages are equal to each other. And in an inverting case, the way I have it here, it's ground. Now over here, um, while well, one could use the impedance method and the inverse Laplace transform, um, I was going to do it and keep it in the time domain. All right, so what is the nodal equation? IR equals IC. So we have to have the VN minus VX2 divided by R and then we use the current for the capacitor directly, right, which is uh, dV dt times C, but that V is VC of the capacitor, but in nodal terms, that's Vx2 minus V out 1. Oops. So, in fact, V out 1 isn't 0. That's a typo. This one is 0. So when you solve for it, right, that's in derivative form, but when you solve for V out 1, it's 1 over RC, times minus one, and we integrate Vn dt. I'm just leaving the limits off, right? Then, because they're in series, all we have to do is multiply this gain stage by the integrator stage, and there you have your answer. Now, yeah, if the capacitor was here, that would be a circuit that takes the derivative. If I had a diode here, it would be a circuit that takes the logarithm. If I put the diode over here where the resistor is, that would be a circuit that uh, t takes the exponent of the end, right? So um, by putting things in this feedback loop, you can get a wide variety of functions. Good luck.